to click on internet or say, okay, I say, the prophet says this and that. Yes, in internet and uh, finding in internet is easy. But a scholar, ulama, they don't narrate, they don't talk about the hadith unless they find out that all these chain and all these narrators are sadiq, are good people, mu'min, and so and so. So we discuss all this information in al Rajal. How can, you, how can a scholar tell like, if some person like a, a couple hundred years ago was like a liar or not? Very good point, very good question. This is the reason that we have Elmur Rajal. In Elmur Rajal, there are several sources, there are several books. I have mentioned only four of them here. You will find these four names. From these, na these books are uh, uh, from uh, eight or nine centuries ago. We have in our hand. And from that time until now, we have several more books. Only informations about people, about scholars, because most of them are scholars, they are not regular people. Like today. Today, for example, we have uh, some, I, I remember in, here in the United States there were some sources they call uh, Book of the Year or People or something like this. That in those books they have, they gathered and collected all the big names and big people explaining the uh, all details about those people. It's still, you can find the library, we have these books. So in Shia and in Sunni, in both cases, we have several sources, several books explaining in details, really in details. You are, it is amazing, it is very interesting. When you go to these books, they say, okay, even uh, the, uh, their travel, their trips, their moving from one city to another city, it is mentioned in these books, the books of Rajal. And they told us that, for example, for example, al Kolaini is one of them. Who is Kolaini? Where is he from? He born where? He died where? And he went from what city to what city? All this information we have to find out. And then we trust him that he wrote Al Kafi. And we accept Al Kafi. It is not by sudden that we say, okay, this is a good book, this is a bad book. No. We have to find out that this person is truthful, is right, is mu'min. So we, call, we talk about this. And uh, even now, <coughs> When you refer to the uh, library, you can find hundreds uh, of books they call El Mur Rajal. And recently, Ayatollah Khui, he has written a source. It is more than 20 volumes. If you put on this table, it is more than this table. 20 volumes. Each volume twice of this holy book, this Quran. 20 volumes. It is about El Mur Rajal. All these names. Any name that you find in Sahih Bukhari, in Usul al-Kafi, in, for example, Man uh, Zul al-Faqih, and other books. You will find in these books explaining about all information of his time and his personal and individual information. Yes? What if a hadith is uh, mutawatir, but one of the narrators has a questionable background? Very good. This is the, this is the discussion that we discuss in El Mur Rajal, that uh, if a hadith is mutawatir, it is easy. Because in hadith al-mutawatir, when we have 20, 30, 50 narrators, if one or two or some of them are not good, still we depend on that hadith, because it is mutawatir. But if hadith is wahid, it is only one narrator, we receive from one narrator, from Ali only. There is no other narrators here. So in this case, we should be careful and go one by one and find out that everyone is truthful, is mu'min, is not liar, and all these things, okay? So it is the duty and responsibility of Rajal to talk about all this. The last paragraph is very important. I think who is the, who wants to lead us? Okay, sister, please. If, it's good. The last golden chain, yes, the golden chain of narration. Okay, first think about this uh, expression, the golden chain. We call as Silsilatul Zahabiyya. 
The Arabic name is As-Silsilatu Zahabiyya. As-Silsilatu Zahabiyya. As-Silsilah means chain, Zanjir. Al-Zahabiyya means gold. Okay? So, let me just give you this example. There is a very famous hadith from Imam al rida alayhi salam that he explained and he said this hadith in Nishabur on his way to Mashhad to Tus. And in this hadith, Imam al rida says, Kalimat la ilaha illallah hisni, faman dakhala hisni amana min adabi, bishartaha wa ana min shurutaha. It's very famous hadith. For us it's mutawatir. Because more than maybe hundred they narrate this hadith from Imam Raza. But Imam Raza, when he wanted to say this hadith, he said, Imam Raza says, Al Raza says, I have heard this from my father, Al Kadhim. From his father, Al Sadiq. From his father, Al Baghir. So and so. He mentioned, he himself mentioned all the names and goes to Rasulullah. Okay? So, in the history of hadith and in the science of hadith, they call these narrations Silsilatul Zahab, which means the chain, the golden chain, because all of the narrators are Imam. From Rasulullah, then Amirul Mu'minin, then Imam Hussein, Imam Sajjad, Imam Sadiq, Imam Baghir, Sadiq, Imam Kazim, and then Imam Raza. So, all the narrators are Imams. So in this case, we call these Silsilatul Zahab, the golden chain. So to Imam Raza is Silsilatul Zahab. And after Imam Raza is Mutawatir. So it's a very beautiful hadith. This is the best and the most important hadith that we can rely on. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, let me, about Nahjul Balagh and Sahif Sajjadi, we have some other things to be discussed. I, I didn't bring all these two here because they, have, uh, they need to have only a specific session for those two books. First of all, uh, whatever is in Nahjul Balagh or in Sahif is not directly from Imam Ali alayhi salam. Some parts of Nahjul Balagh is in al kafi some parts of Nahjul Baraghi is in Man La Yahzul Al-Faqih. Some parts of Kafi is some other book sources. Sayyid Razi collected all these ahadiths and put in one volume and called Nahjul Baraghi. So it doesn't mean that when you say Nahjul Baraghi is from Imam Ali alayhi salam, it is Silsilatul Zahabi, you know. Because from Imam Ali until Sayyid Razi, there is a big chain, big Silsila. Most of them are not Imam. So we don't call Silsat Zahabiyya. Did you get the point? Did you anything that Imam said that they did not specifically narrate as hadith, but just they said, for example, things Imam said in the Quran by many people? Sermon or khutbah, yes, yes. In those cases, we don't call Silsat Zahabiyya. Can you continue? Very good. Ahsant. Allahumma shalla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. This is all about hadith and ilmul hadith and ilmul rajal, but it is only a introduction. So inshallah it gives you a chance to find some sources if you need to know more about hadith and ilmul hadith. 
inshallah next time we will discuss about what who remembers you refer to your uh, course sheet okay kalam very important inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh